Disclaimer. I love Steven Universe. This series is done purely for fun and to point out some flaws in Steven Universe logic, not for any malicious or defaming intentions. Thank you. Why does this line look really slanted in this shot, but then perfectly straight in the next? She's the one that needs to know! I want her to understand! Aw, oh, Peridot, that's sweet. With the way Peridot's worded this, she's acting like Lapis needs to know, and will thus be forcing this idea on her when it's clear Lapis will act negatively to it. That's not sweet, that's barging in on someone when they clearly just need some time alone. Steven should recognize this, right? So then why is he acting so positively on this clearly intrusive plan? Hell, why is the episode treating this as the correct answer? This image is cursed and it needs to leave my sight immediately. If you write it from your heart, your feelings will reach her. Right, and you saw how that worked out before. Seriously, why does Steven think this will work? Hey, Leslie! Hey! <sighs> Leslie! Hey! Why isn't she responding? I'm not sure. Steven, you did hear Lapis earlier, right? You know, despite my whole Steven is a dumbass tirade from earlier videos, I'd like to think Steven actually cared enough to recognize how his own friends feel and not be this oblivious. Sorry I interrogated you. You were just full of such useful information. That's a sincere compliment. Peridot. It seems illogical to me that it would be any of the writing elements. It took me over an hour to compose it, and I was the most sincere as per Steven's instructions. It could be she's just not much of a reader? Steven is awful in this episode. It's like the Kroonover specifically wrote him to not be himself in order to service this shit show. Do you seriously think that, given Steven's character throughout this entire show, Steven wouldn't at least say something like, Well, you didn't really compliment her, you did make it seem like only her information was valuable. Steven's supposed to be a good talker, right? Surely he'd recognize that Peridot did this. But no, let's just change this aspect of Steven for... What? More wacky antics with Peridot trying to apologize? Give me a fucking break. Also sins. Give me a lot of those, too. Watch in awe as the Kroonoverse wastes 15 seconds of everyone's time! Hmm. Ah! <gasps> no. No? Nuh-uh. But if- Yeah? Nah. Yeah, that'd probably be overdoing it. H2O my gosh! This is the worst sentence the Kroonoverse has ever written into the script. That deserves multiple sins, Jesus Christ! You do realize that I spent the last few months trapped under the ocean, right? And you expect her to know this... how? I'm kind of taking a break from water right now, but thanks for the lake. Okay, now Lapis is crossing to just plain unreasonable. I get it, the gift was bad. Okay, fair enough. But surely by now, Lapis has to realize the effort Steven and Peridot are putting forth at this point, right? Sealing off this hole, which probably took a little while, then filling it with water due to the both of them thinking she likes water. Not to mention, Steven is also very clearly a part of this effort, and since Steven's kind of her favorite person right now, you'd think this would help her attempt to see how much Peridot's trying. But nah, we gotta fill 11 minutes, so let's just make Lapis an unfeeling, heartless bitch, despite everything these two have done to at least try to make her feel better. Fuck change, am I right? Peridot is forever horrible, despite Steven liking her, and there's nothing she can do to tell her otherwise. It's unrealistic at best, fucking horrible writing at worst. More sins, please. Don't worry, Steven. It's not your fault. Oh, and this is just an extra kick in the nuts. Don't worry, Steven. This thoughtful gift that was an earnest attempt by someone who doesn't really understand me yet wasn't your fault. It's her fault for trying to be nice to me. And no, Steven completely shuts down the argument that Lapis thinks Peridot is just trying to be friends so she can use her again. If that were the case, Steven wouldn't be rigorously advocating for the two of them to be friends. Hell, Steven wouldn't even be talking highly at Peridot at all. It's just shitty writing. Fuck this episode. 
When I was stuck here, Steven gave me this tape recorder as a gift, and I didn't really get it at first, but it made me feel better just to talk about all the weird stuff that was happening. It'll help you, too. Press the button to record, and then you talk into it. I don't want your garbage. What is this episode teaching children, exactly? Oh, you know that bad thing someone did in the past? Yeah, you're completely justified in putting that bad thing on a pedestal and hating them forever for it. Who cares about their emotions, their dreams, their aspirations, their story, any amount they might change or want to make amends to make things right? No matter what they do or how much they might regret their actions, you're free to continue acting like a spoiled brat and never move on! We call these people children. Because that's the petty shit children do. I think you could see how much I hate this episode. Wrapping paper on the ground? No wrapping paper on the ground. Steven's pupils don't go away when he blinks in this shot. It genuinely seems like the crewniverse stopped giving a shit in this scene, in both writing and animation. Why do you trust her, Steven? Because I know her. Lapis, you're not even giving her a chance. You should have at least gotten to know her before you decided you don't like her. And no, this doesn't fix it. Steven could have easily said this earlier, but he instead acts ignorantly and waits until Peridot's feelings are effectively crushed into tiny pieces before he finally decides to tell Lapis off. This message isn't doomed from the start, but what makes it all fall apart is how much Steven's character is butchered in an attempt to tell it. And even then, it still doesn't address the main issue because of the way Steven worded it. Oh, you should at least get to know her better before you arbitrarily decide that the past things she's done still leads you to hating her anyway. God, this episode sucks. More sins, please. This doesn't even feel like genuine character growth due to how bored Lapis looks through all this. It seriously feels like she's only doing this because she feels she has to, not because she wants to make up for how horrible she was. Peridot. Are you okay? What a train wreck. I don't want your garbage. Special thanks to my Mach 2 members. Bear Kawaii Desu who wants me to say, I'm gay for you alphans. Dank Dudes, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Felipe, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Hamahachi Tori No, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Honey X, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Kawaii Kitten, who wants me to say. Hayasaka, come quick! I've been banned from Twitter! Mikey X, who wants me to say. I love Sour Patch Kids. The red ones make me strong! And Waluigi the Taco Stand guy who wants me to say, Steven Universe is cool, but actually I can't think of anything. I want to also give a special thanks to my Mach 1 members. A Good Duck, Angelix8, Death Shadow, Keith Man Maximum Gamer, Le Mercy, and Matteo's Cool Place. If you wish to become a member, hit the join button down below and follow the on-screen instructions. 